first thing you want to do is remove the membrane assembly. So first take off the membrane retainer. Then you can dis uh, disregard this membrane head and throw that away as it's been used. And the last thing you want to do is remove the o-ring. It could be a little difficult with your bare hands, so I like to use a real small screwdriver and gently pry it off the, the cathode. And this can also be disregarded. Next you want to remove the fill plug and you want to check to make sure there's an adequate amount of pipe tape still remaining on the fill plug. Here I see there's still a good amount so I don't need to replace it. If there's not enough you want to wrap it. You want to first remove the excess pipe tape and then place about one to two wraps of pipe tape around the fill plug. No more than two. Then you want to dump out the excess amount of electrolyte solution that's still in the sensor. Then you need to inspect the cathode. If it's tarnished, you just need to clean it with a cotton tip swab touched with baking soda and clean it off. Get a membrane kit, open it up. It'll have three distinct parts. It'll have the membrane head, it'll have a wood ring, and it'll also have a no ring. What you want to do is place the wood ring into the membrane assembly and then fill it up with your electrolyte solution. So put it cup facing up, fill, fill the solution all the way to the brim and you're going to then want to set it aside and let the wood ring absorb the electrolyte solution. So while the wood ring is absorbing the electrolyte solution, we pour the electrolyte solution into the sensor and we go all the way to overflow. Now I need to go and grab the fill plug, which I made sure there was enough pipe tape remaining on, on the plug. I keep it, I keep the sensor at about 45 degrees so the solution does not spill out, and I begin tightening it. And after a few turns, I want to turn vertical. And I'm going to slowly turn. This will test the seal, and I'll also make sure everything is in straight. And I want to tighten it just enough to get the sensor to be uh, flush with the with the fill plug, and I don't want to over tighten, that's the key. Over tightening will actually crack the tip of the probe. All you want to do is create a good seal. Next you want to get a toothpick and snip the end of it so it has a blunt end that you can use to press the air bladder in the cathode. Next you want to take your new o-ring, place it around the stem of the cathode, and then use fill solution and cover the tip of the cathode Next you're going to want to find the pressure equalizing port, which is a small little hole above the threads. Take the flat end of your toothpick and place it inside. Fill the solution on top of the cathode and then press in to the equalizing port. And see how I'm pushing the air out and it's getting replaced with the electrolyte solution? That's what we want. So I'm going to do this several times until no more solution is left. So next I want to grab the membrane assembly which I've been letting soak this whole time. I want to get the electrolyte solution and pour it over the, over the cathode and make sure it's completely drenched and saturated. Then I want to take the membrane assembly, place it on top, and then get the membrane retainer and screw it on snug. Now, now that I've got it snug, I filled the chamber. It's time to place it back onto the panel and do a zero calibration for the sensor.